you know, it's important at this point because of what's going to happen in the world. We've got to be able to hear God. But the thing about it is he's so amazing. I'm sorry to say bomb.com. You know me. Um, that he allows us to, uh, the Bible says in John chapter number 10, my sheep know my voice and a stranger they will not follow. Not to mention is that that, but Joel 2, 28 talks about, and that, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And so he's given us the ability to have his spirit, his ability in, in order to hear. And some of us are hearing, but we're not necessarily hearing God. And so we have the God of our flesh. It's the God of, God of your soul, your mind, your will, your emotions speaking to you and out of your spirit, so to speak. And you're perceiving it as the Holy Spirit and you're walking around offended and then you're making like it's a gospel and it's not. That's not my God. That's not how he speaks. And so um, healing and being healed from, from even our traumas and our triggers is ever so important. And, you know, I guess this is a thing, right? Um, I think one thing that that we overlook a lot of times is that some some of the the traumas and the things that we went through were necessary right that god didn't cause them but he may have allowed them because they were necessary and i was i was i give an example i was talking to i was talking to um 